Hi everyone, we're here again with Amanda, our dietitian. Hello, Amanda. Hi, Gia. Thank you for coming again today. We have a very interesting topic today for me because I could see she's got all these plant milks here. There's so many different plant milks out there and it's so hard to choose which one's the right plant milk, isn't it? That's right. And yeah. so we've asked Amanda, because some of the viewers have asked this question, how they want to know a little bit about the different plant milks and which ones are probably better to yeah. have. Yeah. So if you could basically maybe even tell us a little bit about each one that you've got here, yeah, that well, would be awesome. Let's start with this one. So this is soy milk and it is actually the most comparable to cow's milk in terms of its energy, protein and nutrient content. It also has the highest amount of protein in it of all the plant milks. Okay. It's low in saturated fat and and has a good amount of monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats, so it's good for heart health as well. That's awesome. So, soy milk. so awesome. for children, this is the best one to choose because of the energy and protein which they need for growth. The next one is oat milk. So this one is the next highest in protein and it actually has slightly higher energy content than the soy milk does. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it's got the most fibre out of all of the plant milks as well. So oat milk has the most fibre. I like that. That's <laughs> right. It's low in saturated fat and it, and it naturally has some B vitamins in it too. Nice. So if you don't like the taste of soy and you're not looking for a low energy milk, then this is a reasonable one to try too. Awesome. Oat milk. The next is almond milk. So this one has the least amount of energy of all of the milks and mm. it's also low in protein too. It's got, it's low in saturated fat as well and it's high in monounsaturated fat. So again, good for heart health. Right. This, this is one, the one I drink. Yeah, well, this is a good one to have if you are wanting to try and lose a bit of weight or on a lower energy diet. Just make sure that you are getting your protein from other sources. Right. The next one is rice milk. So this one has comparable energy levels to cow's milk um, and that's because of its high carbohydrate content and it has actually a high amount of natural sugars in it too. Right. So what happens is when the rice is processed, the carbohydrates in them break down into sugars. Right. So it gives it that sweet flavour, but it's also got a high glycemic index, so not really suitable for diabetics. So your kids will go hypo. <laughs> yeah, it's also, it's also low in fats and low in protein and when unfortified, very low in vitamins and minerals. So not the best option for most people. Right. And then lastly is coconut milk. So this one is also low in energy and pretty much has no protein. It's also high in saturated fat and the evidence is conflicting on this in terms of um, saturated fat from coconuts and heart health. So only have this on an occasional basis. On an occasional. Okay, so we've got the best one at the front and yeah, then we go that's down. pretty much. That's <laughs> awesome. I hope you can play this back. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and play this back so you can hear more in detail what we just said. That's awesome. Thank you so much, no Amanda. No problem. See you next time.